Hi guys! Summer is officially here and we've been doing lots of water play outside. And making the plants grow. If you saw Elle's episode, she did some super cute water activities using a homemade water table. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build your own with just some PVC pipe and a large plastic bin. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. Here's what you'll need to get started. Approximately 19 feet of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, 8 three-way elbow connectors, 2 3 quarter inch T connectors, 2 3 quarter inch elbow connectors, a large plastic bin, this one is 40 gallons, and a PVC pipe cutter. We're going to start by cutting our pipe. I've already marked off the measurements, which I've listed in the description below, and we're just going to make a cut at each line. Once you're finished, you'll have 17 pieces total, 2 21 inch, 4 10 inch, 5 14 and a half inch, 4 16 inch, and 2 3 and a half inch. First, we're going to build our base with our 2 21 inch and two of our 14 and a half inch pieces, and we're just going to make a rectangle using four of our three-way connectors. Next, we're going to make the top. Take two of your 10 inch pieces and join them together with a T connector. And repeat with the other two pieces. Join them together with your remaining three-way connectors just like you did the base. And for the stabilizer bar, you're going to insert your three and a half inch pieces into the bottom of each T-joint, add an elbow connector to each side, and your last 14 inch piece in the middle. And finally, we're going to take our last four pieces, which are the legs, insert them into the base, and then attach your top. Make sure everything's nice and secure, and our frame is complete. Now let's take it outside to play. Yay! High five! This was really so easy to make and Lincoln just loves playing with it. Cool! These are great for any age toddler and make the perfect play date activity. You can also change it up and fill it with sand for a totally different experience. There he is. I found a wizard. Add a lid to keep things clean between playtime or take it apart and put all the pieces in the bin for easy storage. And of course I couldn't resist adding some gold spray paint to mine for a super chic sensory table. Don't forget to check out Elle's video for some fun water activities you can do at the table. All right guys, we had so much fun building and playing with our water table. Tell me in the comments below what other summer DIYs you'd like to see and we'll see you next Friday. Bye guys! Bye guys! Is that fun? Oh no, 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 not the camera, not the camera!